comments. When I say intimate, I don't. Why you I didn't even say nothing. Here's the problem he had, with the I word just... intimacy. As soon as I said intimate, she got a little tickled. <laughs> But what I'm saying is, intimate doesn't necessarily mean... You don't want to say it like that. You said we had some intimate moments. You don't want to say that. I said it. Yeah. Hey y'all, welcome back to another episode of Broken Record DMV. It's your girl, Crystal Lorenze. And today I'm here with a talented artist. Um, DMV, right? DMV, Baltimore to be exact. Okay, yeah. Baltimore. Okay, yeah. period. Um, Cabana Cartier. <laughs> yeah, this is where I add the, the claps in. <laughs> but yeah, so how are you feeling today? I'm feeling blessed. God is good. God is great and the paper is straight. How are oh, you? I like that one. How are you doing today? <laughs> I'm actually doing good. I'm blessed. I'm tired. I started at 4.30 this morning. Yeah. So, your girl, it's tired, but we're going to get through it. And I'm, my ass is still debating if I want to watch the fight. Debating? What you mean? Because the girl's tired. Ah. I'm tired. Where you from? I'm from, well, originally from Boston. Okay. But we've been, we've been raised out here since, yeah, it's been a minute. Okay. It's been a minute. So, we just say DMV. We just say DMV. Okay, y'all, but I have here... Um, somebody very interesting, actually. Like I did some research. Um, we don't know each other research. formally. He said, "Yeah, that's what research. I'm mm -hmm. <laughs> My little notes. Yeah. But no. So yes. Um, Tope, who I actually never actually. I, don't, I feel like me and Tope actually know a lot of mutual friends, but we don't know each other. So today would be actually like the first former time of us meeting. But he DM'd me about having you on, and I'm not gonna lie. When he first did, I was like, "Who is this?" Because for some reason, I feel like the podcast comes off. I can see why it does. It comes off like I do a lot of artists. Mm -hmm. But that's not really what I do. It just happened that way. It really did. But when I went ahead and checked your page, I was like, okay. Okay, I like this. So before I get into it, I want you to explain to people who Cabana Cartier is. Cabana. Y'all know the vibes, man. It's your boy Cabana Cartier. Straight from Baltimore. Um, I'm a cool guy. Um. Let me say cool guy. What's a cool guy? <laughs> I'm a cool guy. I live in my own world. I do what I want to do. I okay. don't try to fit any type of image or anything. I wake up every day and I'm me and I live my life. <laughs> okay. So where did the yeah. name uh, Cabana Cartier come from? Because you be wearing Cartiers? Yeah. Cartier Head glasses. Ass. <laughs> Cartier, <laughs> they're my favorite shade. You've so always put been wearing on. that since the beginning? Uh, I kind of picked it up along the way. Okay. You know? But uh, Cabana basically comes from... It's like a beauty and a struggle type thing. Um, okay. In Baltimore, it was a, a a recording studio in the middle of the hood in Park Heights. Mm -hmm. I used to always go to called Studio Compound. Um, people look at it like it's a dangerous area. Mm -hmm. But to me, that studio right there in that spot was like my little safe space. It was okay. like my little piece of piece of harmony away from the madness. So it was like mm -hmm. my little cabana. So mm. cabana first, then cardiac came along the way. So you just was called cabana at first? Like cabana. Before, yeah. Cabana. Okay. I love so you went back on your YouTube and changed your name on all of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Period. Okay, so what really made me because I, I was around my brother um when I was um trying to figure out because I don't want it to seem like I'm just getting anybody on the podcast and clearly not at anybody because you're here, so that's a good thing. But I, feel I try so to special. <laughs> <shit. laughs> But no, um I didn't know. So I try to like make sure I get an energy before I have people just on here so that I'm, you know, not just doing anything and just having anybody on here and I played a couple. I, you didn't really have much on your on your page, so I don't know if that's on purpose, but that that's good because it made me go to your YouTube. But one thing you did, I don't even know if it was on your page or your YouTube, but I heard broke, not broken. Yeah. That right there, I played it to my brother. He was like, okay, yeah. He's like, yeah, he got something going on. He's like, okay. My God, I appreciate you. So I wanted to know um, what, like, so because you said Baltimore, but I don't know why it was giving me country vibes. That country? song, yeah, like that song was I give giving you like me, a little country yes, vibe a little bit. Yes, what which is, is a good thing. We're giving you country vibes. I think it's the singing, the singing in it. With the, the guitar? Yeah. Yeah. It was something. I just like to do things different. I don't like to you know, kind of like fit in a norm stereotype. Mm -hmm. You know, anybody could rap about picking up a gun or how, many, how much drugs you sold or anything like that. I just try to step outside my box and challenge myself and create my own lane and open doors, like, you know. So with that... Yeah. I was like, so you could sing. I don't really consider myself a singer. Oh, I'm like a rapper. Yeah, I was about to put you as far. I was like, can you sing for us a little song, mm. a little one? Two, I wish three. I was like, I wish I really could sing, 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 like a, like a Chris Brown or something can like that. You give us something. Something. Mm -hmm. 
I can give you a little bit of broke, not broken. Okay. That's cool. Yeah. All right. Um, I woke up this morning with an attitude. Dropped to my knees and thanked the Lord for another day. Got to show gratitude. It's ugly outside, but it's money outside. Yeah, it's dang. <laughs> <laughs> Period. Oh, it's a compliment for me. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I got to the sing. So. It sound like the record. Like, it right. is. It's like the, <laughs> I like that. Okay, okay. I was like, is she going to really sing? So, um, how did that even work? So, when you, if you were to perform yeah. in real life, they would have to like do something to them. Like, no, I don't need just, that. I do what I do. You either going to take it or you going to leave it. Leave like, it? I had a show yesterday. You know, shout out to all the artists that was on the show. But when they play the music and they get up there and they rapping, mm -hmm. you can hear that lyrics from the actual song on the beat. Okay. And they just rapping over the lyrics. But me... Just give me the instrumental and I'm going to perform, perform. Like, I want I want the crowd to be able to hear me. Correct. You get me? Correct. Like, even on my songs, I don't think people listen to it like, yo, he's like the best singer in the world. But they like my voice for me. Like, you know what I mean? So, I just try to be real and authentic with that. Okay. So, I love that. So, I was seeing. So, some of your inspiration is Jeezy and Gucci. Is that you? No, that's not Because I was watching an uh, interview with, uh, you did at Bowie with... Uh, Fat fool. Yeah. Um. So I didn't know if that was you or him that said this. That was so who him. Is, so who is your inspiration? My inspirations. Um. I like Jay Z. I like Jay Z because he's a talented artist, and I think he's an excellent, great businessman. Okay. Um. Drake. I love Drake. Drake was the first person, the first man to kind of show me that. it's okay to be in tune with your emotions. Okay. And, <laughs> and you're not you're not soft you know what I'm saying expressing how you feel. So okay. I kind of took that along. Um, far as a new inspiration, I guess I could say like Raw Wave because Ooh, okay, you know that's what that that's what broke not broken would give me. Yeah, like I could see y'all doing something together, and it's like niggas would just be crying, crying. Yeah, damn. Like, like try tears. to make heavy music. No, that ass, music. That Our ass. song would be it, it'd be a little sad, a little cry because. But I like I really like that song, broken. I'm not even capping Thank that you. song right there because I know yeah. people don't know that I like I like country music. I'm not good with names, but there's this guy named Probes, and he has a song called Waves, and it's, I heard that song, and I loved, that is my I thought his name was shit. Probs, Mr. Probs. Pro is it Probs? Mr. Yeah, where Slowly I call his ass? Probs. Sorry, Probs. Drifting away. <laughs> yeah. Away. Yeah. It's, you I know what's crazy? Shit. When I'm in a car, like my homies, they don't like to ride with me, because I'll turn on the radio <laughs> and turn into the country station, it's country. or I'll listen to some Spanish music or something, okay, just to hear something that. different. You know how to speak Spanish? You know a little bit. Okay. A little bit. Let me find out. Let me find yeah. out. Total via estoy practicando. Ooh, what'd you just say? I'm still practicing. <laughs> <laughs> I know a little bit. Like you say, um, muy bien. Yeah, I mean, I'm good. Or, or what was it? Fuck me, it. Me habla uh, español poquito. That means I speak Spanish mm, a, little a little bit. bit. A little bit. A little bit. It's crazy. I just found out I had Mexican in my family. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. My, gra my grandmother's dad. It's Spanish from, like, you know where? Um, Mexico. Mexico. Yeah. Okay. Have you been? Yeah, I've been to Mexico. Okay. Yeah. So I also in the in the interviews at Bowie, you said it just caught my attention when you said I knew she was gonna come up here, but you were in a high speed chase. So you thought you was in mm. one. Yeah. To Damn. some pussy. So is huh? that true? No. Where would you go? You said you was going to a female house and you was trying to get there. Oh. Was it was it worth it? Uh that's a little no, it wasn't worth it. <laughs> <laughs> that was a bad day for me. Really? Yeah, I ain't do good that day. But But you got away. Nah, Not got away because you were I didn't get away. away. I didn't get away. It's crazy. It's crazy cause I was on a high speed chase with the cops and I didn't know. I was young, BMW, I'm zooming, zooming, boom, boom, bam. And then he actually like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I almost got to my destination, so I started cruising. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna be here on okay. time. So I'm cruising for like a good five minutes. Next thing you know, I see like six police cars. I'm like, man, somebody in trouble. They was looking for your ass? Yeah. So they was, you know what I'm saying, honking the horn and put their lights on. So I pulled over. I'm like, yo. He came to the door. I'm like, <laughs> sir, this got to be a misunderstanding. <laughs> he like, yo, you crazy. You could have killed somebody. Like, driving that That's fast. That's what I'm saying. Where was you but, going too fast was, to? Where was you going? And how old was this? This was like 20, <laughs> 2021. No, 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 2019. I was about to say, okay, that's uh 2019. How do you now? How do you, if you don't mind me asking? 300. Stop playing. <laughs> no, for real. I'm 300. You know what year I was born? 
No. 300. I'm lost. 300 BC. Can you answer the question? <laughs> How old are you? How old are you? I'm 29. I'm not scared to say my age. I'm young. Yeah. How old I look? Damn, why you throwing the spot? Mm, say the right are you, thing. Okay, are you older or younger than me? I don't know. Oh my God. <laughs> Next! Next! <laughs> no, nah, I'm 20. I'm 28. 28? Okay. Yeah. Then why? You don't like saying your age? No, nah, I just was messing you with fuck you. with yeah. me? Okay, say less. I don't know. Let me fuck with you. All right. There's a, I seen, a, well, I heard a verse in a song, and I need you to tell me what song it is. Can't trust nobody. What you doing in my house? Ain't got no bodies. I hit two, and then I'm out. Mm, can't talk. <laughs> <laughs> can't trust nobody. Yes. I hit two. Okay. Yeah. Period. Period. Yeah. All right, y'all. So, you better go into the next segment where I asked my uh, guest what their favorite liqueur, and he said any tequila. So, I pulled the, 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 the Deleon. So, yeah. we're going to go ahead and take a shot. If you don't mind passing it over, because yeah. this, this mic is putting me in jail. We good? Okay. Oh, you want to pour? You got oh, it? You got it? No, you, you, okay. You let the man do it. No, hostess. I ain't know how you wanted to take the lead on it. Y'all would like to take a shot? I like to include y'all in here so y'all could be on the same vibe. Anybody want a shot? Look at Justin's ass. Here, y'all want a shot? You look at it like... <laughs> Why you looking at it like it's the death? It's not. It's just... Hand the cup. Oh, sorry, baby. <laughs> I don't even know. Look. And I'm very sober. But yes, I like to include y'all because... And if there's some chases here. But this is a segment where I just like to literally make stuff up about what I would like to put into fruition. So I just hope that this year is very successful. Summer's around the corner. Definitely. So I hope <clears throat> that everything we got going on and everyone in the room um, is successful and has a peace of mind while doing it. So that's what I'm going to toast to toast. today. So. Okay. To <laughs> Can you pull me some oranges, please? Damn. I know. Shit. All right. So the next segment is um, how you feeling so far? I'm feeling good. I really like these cups, though. Thank that's, you. That's oh, great. you think the branding? That's great branding. <laughs> that's how you do it right uh, there. I try. I try. I try. And then you do peep the. There's really supposed to be, well, for Crystal Lorenze. Okay. So, it's a little, like little it. bit everywhere. You're doing your thing. It's a nice setup. Thank you. It's fake. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> I shouldn't even right. tell nobody. Let people think <laughs> it's real. All right. So, this the quote of today is, oh, okay. The world only exists in your eyes. You can make it as big or as small as you want. F. Scott Fitzgerald. Shout out to Fitzgerald. Want to read again? Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it must be a question coming after this. No, no, no. Because every, sure every time we, yeah, every time we get to this part. So no, basically, all you do is explain what you think it means to you. No right or wrong. Okay, yeah, so yeah. So it's just like a motivational quote. Um, just because like, you said you ain't watch no episodes, but um, when I was making this, like my dad passed last year, and when I was making this episode, I was trying to figure out what I wanted to include. So motivational yeah. quotes help me a lot. Okay. So yeah. I want to help other people with it. It says, the world only exists in your eyes. Mm -hmm. You can make it as big or as small as you want it. Yeah. I feel like that means, like, how big is your vision? Like, if you have, I've been watching this sermon that's been talking about vision. And if you don't really have a vision, then I feel like you're just living. You're just moving. Existing. Yeah, you're just existing. So... The world to you might seem small or whatever the case is, or just your vision is small. But if if your vision is big and it's expanded, then, you know, you live a, a, a profitable life. Your life will be big. Life itself will just be so much. Like, it's going to be endless possibilities in a sense. Like, so I just try to put some words together. But that's it. I feel yeah. like it, it, it came together. I feel like people take for granted the luxury of having a vision just because mm. they have sight. Damn it. I'm a rapper. I got you. Damn. I got you. Yeah, you done. Like I just made it up off the fly, too. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, but that's really what he was, that's yeah. really what the sermon was saying. It was like, people have only, people have like, what's the word? Like, dwindled the, 
like how like how life could be because of what they see. Like if they can't see something, it's not possible in their mind. If they can't, if, if it's not in their peripheral, it can't it can't happen. Or they're only focused on what they can see. So because of that, then your imagination is only based on that. But some people, like yeah. people like us, creatives, we like I've seen this podcast before I even did it. Like I've literally visualized it and everything. Drew it out damn there. You drew it out. Yeah. This one right here. Yeah. Okay. No, seriously, that this wall was intentional. Like. I got this in my crib, like, but, but, <laughs> really? you, but you can feel my... Where you get yours from? Uh, Target uh, online. I was saying Amazon. Where you get yours from? Amazon. Amazon. See, mm-hmm. Amazon is a hit or miss. Yep. You did all right, though. Thank you. you right. Yeah, I envisioned it, because I really was looking at some like mood board stuff and just trying to figure out what I wanted to take from these places and how I always wanted the mic in front of my face. I didn't yeah. want it up. I didn't want it... So, yeah. I always wanted to sit on the couch because... I get fidgety. So, like, I, I imagine these things, and because I imagine them is why it's there. But if I was waiting to just see the shit first, I, I would have still been in a lot, like, in that in that momentum. No, for sure. I like how you said it, though. Thank that you. That was dope. Thank you. Okay, y'all, so that's the quote for today. All right, so we can go to your bowl. Okay. <sighs> oh, what am I getting myself into? <laughs> it's a bunch of different uh, questions. Let's it's, see. It's, this is not a messy podcast. It could be. Oh. But I will yeah. I thought it was going to be like something personal. Mm-mm. Uh, I don't, I'm not that type of messy person. I like to stay. Messy. Yeah. That's not messy. I'm open. I'm an open book. You can ask me anything. I, I know, but there's so many messy podcasts now. And I don't, look, I'm not talking shit about nobody podcasts. It's just, I personally wanted mine to be a little bit different, mm-hmm. but I wanted people's personalities to show genuinely. So I don't have to make it messy. If it gets into a question, it's questions about sex, all type of stuff. So yeah, go ahead. R&B, African music, or hip hop? <laughs> I'm gonna say hip hop first. Can I can I put it in order? Yeah, you can put it in order. I'm gonna say hip hop first because that was kind of like well, my first introduction into music was poetry. Mm. I got into poetry because I got my heart broke in fifth grade. Damn, that young? <laughs> yeah, it was bad too. It was bad. Damn. Yeah, so I would say hip hop, and then Drake came out. And he was like one of the first to start like singing, rapping. Mm-hmm. So when I heard him do it. I'm like, he don't sound like he's singing like crazy, crazy. He just got a he's little chilling. melody. Yeah. I'm like, let me try this. Let me try. That's what got you into R and B. Yeah. Not the Joe C's, not the back in the day. Nah. I One twelve. Really, I didn't really listen to that. Hmm. One twelve. They my guys. That's what I'm saying. What? I love One Twelve. Bad Boys. I love One Twelve. All of, I said R and B. Is that even? I don't even know what genre. Is that even R and B? It's R and B, but it's like '90s R and B. Yeah. That's a whole nother conversation. Like, yeah. Our favorite era R and B. Right. But. I'm going to say hip hop, then R&B because I found out I got a little, you know what I'm saying, melody a little bit. Mm-hmm. And now, I guess I can say African music because I'm kind of tabbing the different genres now. Okay. Now it's becoming more popular, right? So, yeah. I would say mine is African music. I am African, yeah. Nigerian. You got to put Ibo me on. Quen. <laughs> They're going to die laughing when they see this. But no, like, I would say African music is my first love because of, of course, listening to it with my parents in the house. They always used to play that. Like African music all the time, African weddings, parties, birthday, all that stuff. So that's where I really fell in love with music. Yeah. And then, of course, growing up, then I got into like hip hop and stuff. Yeah. So I would say African first, then I would say R and B. I fuck with hip hop, but R and B hit different for me. R and B gets to my soul. Yeah, me too. You know, me too. It, it touches the soul. But before we go to the next question, we're gonna give. We good. Okay, shit. Camera. The cameras, look, we still under budget, y'all. So we be working with the cameras, so I got to make sure we we give them a break. But okay, so you can go to the next question. Because I'll fucking want to be answering the question and just cut off on me. Hey, Tope. How you Does doing? your significant salary matter? Your significant other salary matter? Oh, you look at me like each other. I was just making sure significant, significant other, right? Yeah. Oh, damn. Yeah, that's right. what it means. Does her salary matter? Uh, yeah. I would say... How does it matter? I wouldn't say you have to be like... You have to have millions of dollars or... Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But just at least have something in your pocket. What's something? Have something. In your bank account? What's something? I feel like for like the average American, like a little 10000 is cool. Okay. A little 10, so no, in your bank account, but you, it's a salary, so that means what you're Oh, you making. mean salary? Yeah, uh, not salary. Um, I said celery. You said celery. <laughs> Excellent. That's okay. I mean, for the average person, maybe like around eighty, a hundred. Okay. Well, damn. How much you make? 
See, I'm not going to put your business out there. But you can give an ass. I'm doing all right. Because that's what you want your spouse to make. We talk about like in, yeah, yeah. In the, what's that, future? Yeah, like So if you're talking to a female run. right now, right, and she mm-hmm. got a job. I feel you, like right now. Do you work or you just do music? Um, I do both. I do a little bit of everything, really. Okay. Okay, so regardless of that, of if you if you was dating somebody right now, I don't know yeah. if you are, but if you are, how much are you how much are you expecting her to make? I mean, at this point in my life, I feel like in everybody's life, in like 20s up until 30, I feel like you're still getting it together. You're still progressing. You're still getting to where you got to get to. So you might not be making the max or your potential, which you mm-hmm. could be. I mean, I feel like anywhere between like before 30, like around like 60 to like 90 is kind of acceptable. Okay. And if they're making below that, then... They just make him below that. <laughs> but you still going to date him and stuff? Is that a problem? Is that a deal breaker? It's not really a problem. Like, I'm good. Like, I can take I can take care of things, you know what I mean? But okay. just have a little money in your pocket. <laughs> just have a little money. And this is before before taxes or after taxes? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> before, after. Listen, listen. <laughs> when it comes to money, like, when it comes to my significant other... It's not really about the the money. Okay. Me personally, I just love a woman with integrity that knows how to be herself unapologetically. Do you, you believe know? in a woman? I mean, the the man paying for everything in a relationship, in a sense. I feel like the man should pay for the ma- majority of things. I mean, that's just me because that's okay. just how I move. But whether it's fifty fifty or the man's paying for everything, it's really all about the situation that that man has with that woman. Whatever they come to terms with is what they do. Okay. But yeah. You, you, I feel like you've gone through some media training. You think so? Yeah, just a little. Never. Bit. Really? Never. You're answering the questions very thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You can answer the other question. Okay. We could do as many, at least like part three more. That's cool. Oh. Mm. Okay. Oh, it's a whole joint. That's a- <laughs> <laughs> I almost put half of it back. <laughs> Would you cut off your longtime friend or significant other if your significant other didn't want you to be friends with your longtime friend? Um, I had a situation like really? this. Okay. Well, you say if, if your significant other didn't like. Would you cut off your longtime friend or significant other if your significant other didn't want you to be friends with your longtime friend? So okay, I had a girl okay. I was dealing with, but my longtime friend was a woman. Mm. And she kind of gave me an ultimatum like, yo, if you keep messing with her, I'm she's not going to be around. I'm like, why would you even put me in that type of situation if you know that me and this girl are like really friend, cool? Friends. Is that your own insecurity? Because if that is, and you were being respectable, hmm? respect you were being respectable, respectable. Like I never touched that woman. It was nothing like that. Nothing. Okay. But we did share intimate moments. When I say intimate, I don't. Why you? I didn't even say nothing. Here's the problem yeah, with the word saying. intimacy. As soon as I said intimate, she got a little tickled. <laughs> But what I'm saying is, intimate doesn't necessarily mean... You don't want to say it like that. You said we had some intimate moments. You don't want to say that. I said it. Yeah. You don't want to make it <laughs> some you, type of way. But I, I didn't. Okay, go ahead. Your reaction did. My bad. What do you hear when you hear intimate? Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> when I say intimate moments, I'm talking about really, at my lowest, at her lowest, like heart to heart, sharing things that you never really share with anybody, trusting somebody with um, your, your secrets in those times mm-hmm. and... Because nowadays, people really can't be real with themselves. When you look on Instagram, everybody look like they got money or trying to do this, do that. But sometimes people really be broke. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So just admitting you're able, just being able to admit to somebody else that you're having a hard time or what you're going through, it's like, it's intimate to me. she likes seeing you cry and everything like that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Really, I'm talking about real intimate moments, like for real. So what did you do? Cut the girl off? Like, who did you have to cut off? I mean, to me, honestly, I ended up cutting the person I was messing with off. Okay. It just wasn't right after that situation. But right there, that's the red flag. Yeah. Because you got some inner insecurities that you got to figure out before we can even go to the next level. So so if the if, if it was reversed and she has somebody that's a guy that she was really close to and you yeah. just felt uncomfortable for some type of way, how would you approach it? I mean, I'm the type of guy, I'm confident and I'm secure in who I am. Okay. And I know people lie. Um, but if you never gave me a reason to question you and you look me in my eye and you tell me like, yo, this is just my friend, I got to believe you if you never show me nothing different. Okay. So it's not always the easiest, but you got to be in in control of your own emotions as a man, really. Okay. Can I just answer? I'm good to answer? 
I should write one now for sure. You should. I've been having writer's block. Yeah, that's yeah. why I don't write. I freestyle everything. Freestyle. Yeah. Period. People uh, say that. Okay. You really be freestyling shit? Uh, yeah. I like punching. Okay. Punching. Yeah. Okay. I've been in the studio. I don't know if you ever heard of Brooklyn Love. No. Where's she from? She's from the area, but she does this music. area. Yeah. She was just she she been doing music for a while. She was just signed a Young Blue, so she's just been doing her thing. But I be seeing her in the studio, like when she when, when y'all say punching, yeah. or whatever the hell that means. Yeah. But yeah, that's how I know what that is. Cause I be in the studio. So okay, so you can go ahead and pick another question. Another question. Yeah, get a get a good one, guys. I hope so. Shake it up a little bit. Yeah, shake it up a little bit. Right. I didn't even answer the question though. Huh? The last question. Oh. What what did it say? Um, sorry y'all, my brain just be like. Oh, the long one. Pause. You gotta watch what you say. It's I a habit. See I didn't even know that you said. I know that it's a, it's, it's it. a habit. Like it's a habit. Because if you one. don't say pause, niggas would be like, "Hey yo, like damn." I'm weak. That's because y'all brains be thinking. You can like read that. it this time. All right. <laughs> I, that I mean, through. I kind of think yeah. my answer. <laughs> would I cut off my long term friend or significant other? No, yeah, like you said, fuck no. I'm not cutting off. It depends though, because you know people be grimy, but I don't have grimy friends. Not that I, at least not yet. God forbid, but. I don't have Grammy friends, so as long as my friend ain't do something to make my partner feel like I need to cut them off, then the fr- the the person I'm talking to gotta go. You ever had a male friend that was like really a male friend and then like turned into something else, like it escalated? Yes, and then went bad, really bad, really fast, yeah. really fast. But why you ask that? I was curious. Yeah. See if he was gonna be honest. And I, I'm trying to get my money back for the car he fucked up. So yeah. Okay. Yeah. Story for another day. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. Just in case his ass see it, he owe me some money. <laughs> he do, but hey, yeah, no, that was crazy because I was talking to his ass like since I, no, I lie, I wasn't talking to his. Ass. I've known him. He's been chasing me since we were in middle school. Then during the pandemic, you know, mm. you know that's when he's just that's how I go. Let me just give him a chance. He just he's pursuing me. Any girl I Shit ever was. chased like wanted really bad, and when I finally got it, just why do y'all do that? You know what? You why know, do y'all do that? Listen, I, I got the answer now. Okay. I got the answer now because I need to know. I did that. Let me listen. Let me. As a man, you know how like it be sometimes it's those girls that you see like yo, I want her, I want her, you want her for all these years, and when you finally get us, like all the years it took to get her, you already kind of put a notion in your head on who this person was, and your mind you made up who you wanted her to be for you, and when you get her, it's because you got to realize you really don't know her. Mm-hmm. She doesn't match up to your expectation that you already have for her. Mm-hmm. And it catch you off guard and it's different. And it might not work out. You know what I mean? Okay. So, Can I say something? Tell Y'all me. are sick. That's sickly. Y'all got to figure some shit out. Like, I think therapy would help I mean, we human. Guys. We make mistakes. Fuck all that shit. That's ex- like, girl, and maybe you can attest to this. I cannot tell you. Can we go to the next question. Wow. Y'all I mean, be doing stuff in y'all mind, I've done and then it. pursuing us, bothering us. Then when we finally give y'all the time of it, and Tope, shut up, because I know, yeah, shut up, shut up, because you, you probably would. Yo, you, you, wait, listen, what? bro. Why you want to just do, do it the first time? Why you get the attention the first time? Why we gotta keep chasing it? But so that, then I'll be a hoe. No. If I just talk, if I just talk to any it, nigga that's coming to me, talking people talk every day. A hoe is you sleeping with everybody. Well, f- messing with y'all, it don't matter what I but do. You as, you can just come to my house and they just gonna say that you had fun to me. me. So y'all know what I mean by when I say ho. I'm not talking about sex. I'm just talking about yeah, in general. You can talk to whoever you want. That'll make you. And a it ho. water. I feel like it waters the female down. That's why. But my thing is, when you guys pursue, 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 finally get the prize, and then just like what type of instant gratification does that do for y'all? It all depends on what the man really wanted from that woman to begin with. Cause me as a man, I know. Me, me as a man, like I know what I want from specific women before I even approach them. I do, and I feel like most men do, and most men like they won't uh, admit to that. Y'all just chasing the idea of a woman, but not the not the woman herself. I used to when I was younger, not now. Okay, so you don't do what you say you're doing anymore. Nah, I don't do that no more. I'm just telling you from my previous experiences. But yeah. Men know what they want from women before they even, you know what I'm saying, 
make the initiative to say something to them. Okay. They might have a straight face and take you on dates so or do this, do that. But that's the thing. Okay, before we go to that question, because you just said something that's contradicting. Tell me. You just said men know what they want, but you just also said that they, they have an idea of what they want from the woman based off of just what they can see. So how, how does he know what he wants? Like, you, I don't know if you're talking about, like, just sex, but how does that make sense? Like, no, everything you saw said, about, everything you made up in your mind was made up of what you wanted from her. Not not what you wanted, for, not not what you from, wanted her, from her, like, but you, the idea of who we wanted you to be for us. Okay. That's how my mind was when I was younger. Like, I look at a girl, like, yo, she look good, she's this. And you put her at this pedestal, like, oh, my God, let me tell you a situation. Like, it was this girl... <laughs> I'm like, yo, this girl is fine. She's this, she's that. She got her head on straight. But this is just me looking at her, me and her one time, Mm -hmm. and just, you know what I mean? (laughs) And then that was it. And then come to find out, we supposed to go on a date. Like, like, let me take you on a date. Boom, boom, bam. You feel me? She ended up like, I guess like kind of bluffing on it. But every time I see on her gram, she's in the club, right? So I finally linked with her one time, and then I got to the car. And you know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter what kind of car you got or what year it is or anything mm. like that. But it was like, it was like older. But <laughs> <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> the car was like, the way you said it. it was like a 2002 BMW. Okay. And uh, it was just like. It just wasn't what you thought. Hmm? It just wasn't what you thought she was being. Yeah. It, yeah. It's not what I thought. And then it just wasn't clean. You know what I mean? Yeah, okay. I could see that. It just was like, oh damn! Like I would have thought you. This is long as y'all know females do the same things to y'all. Just so, yeah, spice, but spice this is it. what I'm saying. Okay. But most men, y'all just do we, a little bit more to extreme. Yeah. Like most likely, like, if a female gets a guy after doing all that, we're gonna even if it, you ain't what what we thought y'all were, we'll still work with you. And that's why women are just so beautiful. I love you guys so much. But man, y'all just be anything. Go yeah. ahead. Next question. Next question. Just have to say my piece. Cause that's a, what did you say? Talking shit. Who, me? I'm going to see it when I watch it. All I did was look over there. Okay. That's it. Which celebrity would you marry and why? Ooh. That's not a good question because I don't really know no celebrities. Like, to be real, like... Yeah, no, 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 the celebrities you know of. I really don't know what girls is popping, what girls is lit. You know, every guy got the celebrity crush fantasy that they yeah. want to either marry or fuck or whatever. Yo, I, I don't. I'm calling Cap. Nah, I'm, I'm there's really nobody you. you see. I was just, I'm not. I'm not fascinated over celebrities either. But if you, if you, I mean, I'm thinking one right now. Even, but Ooh. listen, even on the level that I'm that I'm on right now, the quote unquote bad bitches that everybody chase, I'll make those my friends, and I'll yeah. go for that. I'll go for the girl next door, that the regular daggler. And it doesn't have to be in the rap music. I think it's. I mean, it doesn't have to be in your industry. It could be any celebrity because there's still people too. Yeah, but I don't have that. I like regular hmm. regular girls. You don't gotta have a whole a whole lot of fame. You can have like a regular nice little body. So yeah. there's nobody that you admire, no Rihanna, no. Um, when I was younger, yeah, but it goes back to saying like uh, I can't make up your Look idea of what I want you to be, and then I get next to you, and then it's just like yeah, Yo, you not that. I've been around celebrities and situations, and it's been like that. Like you not that person that I kind of was infatuated over. Okay. I like the girl next door. I still call Cap. Fuck all that. Um, who would I? So I was watching somebody the other day because I'm very like, I'm mentally attracted to people. So I see what you're saying because I was honestly the 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 materialistic type of person I would say would be Chris Brown. He's he's beautiful to me, but. At this point, I would just make him my friend. I've been said that, but that's like the only fine ass person I'd be like, oh yeah, that right there, I would choose from. Yeah. Um, but on a realistic side, I would say, and people watching this is, are probably gonna be like, what the fuck? Trevor Noah, have you ever heard of him? Heard of him. Girl, mm. now the only thing that I would say though, only thing I would say is that he look good, I love his mind. Like his, when I'm talking about his mind, just be like, I'm like, man, like, I just could see the future with a man like that. But, because he just, his his variety, his just, his intellect is just beautiful. But I, w- I just don't know how the sex would be. I just don't know how that would be. Like, I don't know how the intimacy would be. But that's who I would marry. Stuff like that, I can't think about. I just got to catch it in the moment. Marry. But I don't know. Who, I feel like what, you so what, what makes you want to marry him? 
His intellect. I like intellect. his mind. Okay. I like how he thinks. Like, I feel like he's good problem solving. Like, I can't really ever go broke with a type of person like that because he just would think of ideas. Like, he'll... I think he's just fast on. I just like the stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. I was gonna be having time to be checking out who's out here. I call Cap. I feel like you just, as a normal person, you be scrolling, you just be like, "Oh, this person's fine as fuck." Like, I mean, you probably don't think about I mean, Mary. You fine. That's what I'm saying. But that's not the question. The question said, "Mary." But nobody know showed me like wifey characteristics from what I see. That when I'm scrolling, I don't see wifeys on my, on my explore page. Oh, it might be because <laughs> of who you following. <laughs> It might be who you following. I see I see It like, might be who you yo, following. You might be just following trying... girls with the ass cheeks out. That's probably why. I don't even know what's out there. Like, so what type of woman would you? What type of woman would you? Would you say fits into your description of a wife? I love a woman that can take accountability because mm. it's so hard for women to admit they're wrong. Like, if I mess up, I'm gonna be like, you know what, babe, you know what. <laughs> I messed up in this situation. I could have did this better for next time I'm going to do this. But if it's a situation when you did wrong and you know you wrong, but you still like, well, you should have. Yo, just take accountability. Okay. Like, we got to be on the same level. I love women that know how to comprehend. Do not just communicate because we can sit here and talk, but if you're not comprehending what I'm saying, I'm talking to, to a wall. To a brick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? Okay. And okay. I, like I said earlier, I love women with integrity that stand for something. Okay. And she's not going to Fold on her morals just because of something that I want. Make me respect you. Yeah. Like, stand for something. Like, you know what I mean? Okay. So. Do you have any kids or anything? I don't. Okay. I'm have you ever been married before? Nah. You gotta ask people that shit now. Nah. Nah. Not for real though. You just gotta Not really ask people that Never shit. been married. Nah. Okay. You in a relationship? I'm not. Okay. I'm a single you man. You single though, though. Out yeah. here living your best life. Yeah. As you should. I'm building right now. Okay. I'm just building. Okay. Do you like do you rather do stuff by yourself as a single man or like power couple type of thing? I've never had a power couple. Ever? Never. Okay. I feel like uh I used to love like a project. A project girl? Huh? A project? Like oh no, like no, taking no, a girl? No. I was like saying, wait, what? A How project. Like uh, like getting a girl like, and I see, fixing her. Yeah, yeah. like I see I'm your potential. I'm thinking like as a man, like it's my duty to like help you reach your fullest potential. I have retired. Fuck that shit. But I'm sorry, y'all. I'm at the point where <laughs> I need somebody that could help me reach my potential too. Where's okay. the even thing? So I'm like, I choose differently on who I even decide to give my time to, you know? Sorry, y'all. She I can't be mama right now. Okay, so we could pick another question. Another question. Let's get yes. It. Oh. I retired. I'm not doing no more projects. Mm mm. The last nigga. Do you slide in the DMs? Best the worst experience. I slide in DMs sometimes. <laughs> I slide in DMs. Okay. Yeah. I shoot my shot. One thing about me, I'm going to shoot DM, catch you in person. I really like the in person vibe though, because okay. I can look you in your eye and make sure they're talk not Talk to catfish. you, feel your energy. Yeah. Okay. Best the worst experience. It's all over the place But I give you one right Okay So I got this girl off In the DM Got a number Blah 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 Picked her up We was gonna go out right mm-hmm. She hopped in my car She jumped in the car She was looking at me She started screaming <laughs> Why? She called her friend She like Bitch guess who I'm in the car with right now Like saying my name I'm looking at her like She was like When was this? When? Like That's a little bit ago Okay yeah. But she was still popping back then. Something like that. Okay. So she like, what's up? Like, she going crazy. Like, you ready to go? I'm like, yo, to be honest with you, I'm not even, like, really feeling this right now. <laughs> like, I'm like, bro, let me catch you another time. I'm just not feeling it. And then did I try to get the car? I asked her to get out. You really did that? Yeah. I went. I got out my car. Why? Because this just seemed hot. Walked around, and I opened her door, and I was just like, yo, today's just not the day, respectfully. Like, maybe we pick this up another time. And what she said? She gave me a hug. She was happy to see me. That's it. Yeah. Last time I talked to her. But just don't do too much with me. Don't do don't do that. That's what I asked. Was you popping back then? Cause why why she acting like you drink or something? Like, I'm okay. I'm, I don't know. But she was just excited. I guess I guess Instagram be going to people's heads, man. Okay. I don't know. What would be nice is an African. That's yeah. Amer- I call it hybrid, because I'm a hybrid. Okay. I was born here. So I just would like somebody that understands the culture so I don't feel like we have to start from ground zero. But at this point, honestly, realistically, whatever God gave me, that makes sense. 
whatever God give me that makes sense. Because I have a lot of family members that dated outside. I'm talking about Filipino, white, all type of stuff. So I can't, I can't, I don't want to put myself in a constraint saying I have to do African and, and stress myself the fuck out. So where, whatever God give me, I'm going to take. Okay. You ready? Yep. yep. <clears throat> Next question. Action. Let's see what we got. <laughs> And I am dominant, but I'm really submissive. I really am. It just has to be right time, right place. If you had to go a year without social media, what would you do to replace the time spent? I did this. I do this all the time. I actually, I even like delete my my Instagram app for like every other month or like sometimes weeks at a time. Did you ever stop music at a time, at a point in time? Nah, never. You know why? Why? Because music is my outlet. If okay. I didn't have music, who knows where I would be? And you feel me? That's like my only way I could like get my emotions out and speak without the fear of being judged or somebody running back telling my business. Like, okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's just like yeah. I put it all on wax. It's like that. But um, what did I do to re- uh, replace the time? Shit, just get in tune, learn how to med- uh, meditate, uh, get in tune with nature, read books. You know, just everything. Just try and level myself up, get into the bag. Travel, see the world a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Making lifelong experiences. I would do Try that. Too. Grow. I really wish we had, like, during COVID was probably, and like I said, I'll always be sensitive to this topic, but during COVID was probably the best time because that was the time I, I felt like I can actually take a break. So I would love to take a social media break. It's unfortunate that business right now is correlated with social media, but one day I'm, one, one day I'm gonna really do that. I wanna get a team so I, I don't even have to see social media on my phone. But if I were to do that, I would use it to just, I would definitely travel, but I would use it to kind of plan out what I want to do. Like, so when I when I get back, everything is, you know what I'm saying, like ready, yeah. set, like that's kind of what I would do. But I would definitely go on like a retreat, like your girl needs a, a break, okay? Like I'm really not into social media like that though, Me as either. much as people might think. Like I'm on there, but I'm like a post and go away like i don't really watch stories and stuff like that i just really do it for my business but if i yeah if that's what i would do if i had you know it's crazy break. when i post i'm the same way when i post <laughs> i turn my phone on dnd i don't want, i don't want to see no likes nothing or no comments because that kind of give you anxiety like you know what i mean it do so you know how, like people got their phones on like dark mode when they mm-hmm. make dark mode i keep my phone on light mode because i, just I don't like to feel mine dark on life. i just turn on my light yeah. after like Dark that should have been like that me, for like uh, 10 years. Like, really? Nah, yeah. So I keep my phone on light mode. Like, yeah. I feel like on light mode, it makes everything blend. And I don't like that. Like, yeah. it makes, like it's too bright for my eyes. I, th- I yeah. really think that's what it is. Uh, Y'all don't like stuff like that. You wear glasses? That. I should. <laughs> I should be, but I don't like glasses stuff. And I always lose. I used to do contacts and I lost those too. Yeah. So I just, I feel like I have decent vision for my age. But yeah, no, I really don't like. I don't really care for social media like that. So yeah. I don't really think that's a big problem. If they take it away, that's fine. Oh, I lied. I, would you be okay if they took away social media permanently? Yo, I don't care. I don't want it now. Really? <laughs> I just got it because I'm an you artist. You think you'll be able to? So how do you think you'll be able to like promote? I mean, of course it's been done before, but how? What would you? You just use YouTube, and I guess just so you, YouTube is a social mouth, media word, now. Word of mouth. YouTube, YouTube's a social yeah. media because you post. They got stories. You can comment. You can respond. That's social media. Yeah. Yo, I really love real I'm life. Still getting used to YouTube. I'm a real life person. Like I prefer this over being on the app because on the app it's a popularity contest. I don't want to be doing that. Yeah. Like it's a lot. Okay. If we took away social media, the world would be in shambles. But social media includes YouTube. Take it away. Okay. I'm gonna still get money out here. Period. I'm gonna still be would doing it be all with right. Music? Huh? Would it be with music? I will still get money with music. Okay. With something on the side? I always got something on the side. <laughs> I was trying to talk shit. <laughs> I'm oh, weak. Yeah, okay. Side. Period. Because I'll yeah. shit. Go ahead. Oh, well. Might have to be. What's that movie? Uh, I feel like no man should have uh, one source of income. That's kind of crazy. Yeah. What's I the... Need... Go, ahead, what's go, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. What's the weirdest thing you ever wanted someone to do to you in bed? <laughs> The weirdest thing. That's the last question. <laughs> the weirdest thing I want somebody to do. I feel like I did everything. Almost everything. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> okay, I know one. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yo, so one day this girl, right? So is it the okay, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so one day this girl, right? So we chilling, blah blah blah. And we had a little little moment. It was a good time. Okay. 
And she was like, she looked at me in my eyes. She's like, I want you. Like, I'll do whatever you tell me to do right now. Right? Okay. And I'm like, I'm just playing. I'm like, all right, suck my toe then. You feel suck me? Suck your toes? Yeah. Why y'all always do the toes? Oh, my God. I was just playing. I'm if not she thinking she's going to do it. You feel me? Yo. She picked my toe up. She you put, have nice feet? Yeah, my feet not bad. They nice. Okay. They nice. I keep them, keep them you know what I'm saying? On point, pedicure, okay. manicure. I'm a little overdue right now. Okay. But, yeah, you Jesus. looking, you staring. But, <laughs> yeah, she put the big toe in her mouth. <laughs> Then uh, the pinky toe and all of them. I was like, oh, you a demon. Was y'all, was y'all like on something? Nah. Sober. And she was just like, oh. Yeah. You yeah. keep talking to her after that? Yeah. She cool. She cool. Okay. Huh? Demon. <laughs> she gonna say this. She was like, damn, this nigga tell it all me. But you yeah. didn't say no names. Um, I mean, it's just a toe. I suck toes. It's just toes. a toes. You said toes. Uh. Toes. Ooh. I'm Not sorry. like everybody toes, like my girl or I get crazy somebody I'm I'm a with. germaphobe. I don't really like shit like that. Well, you can, you can, suck, he can suck it, but just don't try to kiss me after. I might slap. Yeah. I might have to, don't do that. Okay. Yeah. So you and that, that stiff face. Um, if, yeah. I'm not going to lie. Okay. I'm going to say this disclaimer because I don't need nobody trying to kidnap me and do this weird <laughs> shit. I've always, weird shit during, during, look at you, look at me like You want to be hard time. <laughs> Huh? No, I don't like not oh, that Fifty Shades of Grey, but I've always I'll be on Fifty Shades of Grey. No, ahead, I've though. always wanted to, like I like I, I I say I like role play because I really don't do it as often because I feel like our people think that's kind of weird, but I definitely want yeah I want my man to kind of like be a police officer. Oh, y'all gotta really play it out though. Yeah, like start somewhere else. Yeah, the, like I need me? to be really arrested. Yeah, really arrested. I need to be tied up, put my eyes in the closet or something, and then yeah, that shit right there. But I, you can't be you now that we live in a weird ass world. Somebody gonna watch this. You gotta do that with like somebody that you shit? trust. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They gonna. I'm talking about with the weirdos. Of course, yeah, I'm somebody. Yeah, yeah. If you gotta, right, gotta be know careful. because look, I'm not with this shit. I will shoot your ass if you try to come get me. But. That's what I, I want. That that's that that'd be like if I were to tell somebody to do something in bed, that'd be it. But yeah, I'm not like cool. I don't know. Yeah, not no toes. toes. But that's not that bad for men. Nah. I've heard worse. The gooch. Oh. <laughs> I got another story. Can I tell it? <laughs> yes. Can I tell it? Yes. All right. So man. Mm. So there's this girl I knew from high school. <laughs> You feel me? I'm trying, I'm you know. Sorry. Go ahead. After high school, I went to go. See, like, let me spin the bin. So we finally started texting and stuff like that. She like, yo, set up a time. I went to her crib. So we chilling, watching the movie, blah blah blah. One thing led to another, mm-hmm. and we started getting to it. You know, started kissing and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So then it got to a point where she started like giving me head. You feel me? Mm-hmm. She's going, she's going, she's going. I'm like, this is nice, right? So <laughs> she goes from, she goes from like. <laughs> <laughs> the the head down to the shaft down to the balls right and then under the balls right and then she going a little bit lower now I'm on my 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 spider senses is tingling you feel, you feel like, this, me this supposed to be this and I, I, supposed to go? I'm, I'm kind of like <laughs> jumping a little bit right and she stops she just stops she you know what I'm saying she like like this I'm like is everything okay I'm thinking, you ha- I'm thinking she's having a moment she was like yeah I just wanted to know. Like, what you want to know? She was like, I want to know how far I can go with you. I'm like, go all the way. <laughs> all the way? But she's like, nah, I wanted to know, like, how far I can go. I'm like, what are you talking about, Willis? <laughs> you feel me? I'm like, yo, she's I, the- I asked her, like, what you trying to do to me? And she was trying to, it's hard for me to say it out loud. I'm uncomfortable. She tried to lick she, your butt? Yeah. Yeah, she tried. She, but she didn't. She asked me, could she do it? And I was like. You know what? I think I'm gonna pass on this <laughs> right now. Like maybe I don't know. <laughs> Just making us feel asking. making us feel better about yeah. it. Cause that might have been her thing. That might get her off. Okay. So I didn't want to make her feel bad. I'm like, yo, maybe sometime in the future. I'm not doing that. Do shit. Like- but I'm like, cause that's an exit, not an entrance for me. Anyways, you feel me? So she's like, oh yeah, I forgot she was still young. Try to throw some shade. Mm. I'm like, you can say whatever you want, baby. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> it's not happening. <laughs> So y'all don't y'all don't really like so they can do the Gucci but they can't do the the butt the booty the butt, buttocks. I feel like as a here we go again as a man. <laughs> I feel no, like as a man, like yo. 
See, if, that's the thing you can say as a man, but I actually know from a close friend. It probably feel that, and, and I'm talking about this man is muscular. Like he, he, he look, he a man band, but he likes that type of stuff. Yo, a lot of men do. I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with it. But you said when you say as a man, as this man, <laughs> yo, I just can't see myself. Cause how are you gonna do it? I'm not quit. putting my lip. Nah, they ain't I don't trying to make that shit. Quit. I'm just saying that's how it would. I'm be. not. You sure? I don't know. Oh, I really don't know. I see your little, your little cheeks tremble. You ain't gonna get me on that Never one. Did it? Nope. Pinky swear. Nope. Yeah. You ain't can't catch me no white cheeks. I don't believe it. Yeah, I but know. yeah, but what? You only put my legs in the air. Like, how do I look <laughs> doing that? Oh no, see that that yeah, that's wild. How, how, well, how 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 I'm supposed to be for you to get there? Ooh, Yo, just think about the position a man. You has just have to, to like she's already there on your dick, so you just gotta but open it. How you gonna get down yeah, there? Yeah, I gotta put my legs the in the air. Yeah, yeah. You want me to get on my knees? I guess if, <laughs> like, what if what if y'all sixty nine in that she could do that? Yeah, you see? 69? I don't know. Look at me. I'm like, oh, You got to have a long ass neck that like, you know, you know feel me? You got to. See, that's how you know I haven't done it. So I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know. I, I don't believe you. No, I'm really, I'm really a germaphobe. I can't do those things. I don't even like people doing that to me. That's unfortunate. Yeah. yeah. Like I said, but I do other stuff. Like, like I said, the police officer stuff. There's other shit we could do. Whipped cream, all that stuff. All that stuff. Yeah. So what if like your husband or like your man, the person that she was dealing with, like that was his thing. Like he really wanted to do that if, to you. If, yeah, if I got a ring on it, then he get a pass to do whatever he want to do. So before y'all get married, he can't do it. No, not really. But what if that's his thing? That's his thing. That's you, his business. You going to deprive him of that? He because can go to just because else. I thought relationships are supposed to be about compromise. Yeah, when he when he put the ring on, that's the that's it's a compromise. I got to be getting some out of it if it's a compromise. But what about what he's getting out of it? It's gonna be things that if he does it's gonna be it, things that you want to do that he don't want to do. If I agree for him to do it, then he I'm I'm not compromising. I'm just he's allowing. He's the perfect him. man, but he just want to eat your ass. You just not gonna let him do it. He can't be the perfect man if he's not willing to put the ring on it to do it. Hey. Yep. I see what I'm saying? Say. That's it all, takes folks. A ring. <laughs> so can he have sex before the ring? That's a good question. That's a really good question. Stop, CC. Look, look. I'm just <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. I wasn't trying to do that on purpose. I'm sorry, God. I've been doing that all Yo, the whole listen. day. I've been doing it the whole day. No, because lately, honestly, I don't know. And I, 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 I'm I, going to say this on camera because I, you, I have to keep it to myself. But I really, I'm celibate right now. I'm, I, I'm choosing right that. Now? Yeah, I'm choosing that. Do you have that. kids? No. Okay. Unless it's somebody I already talked to. I've been talking to God about it because he's going to have to meet me halfway. Unless it's a guy I already talked to. But right now, I'm not even trying to, I really want to chill out and just... Focus. I, f- I feel like I have my, you know, my city girl era. I have my, you know what I'm I have my time. Now it's just for me to be mature. So, yeah, but that being said, and you know what's crazy? Our generation, like, if you try to, uh, uh, um, you know, chill on sex, they're like, oh, how you being childish? It's like, bro, what? That's I don't think it's childish. Yeah, it's not. It's not. But, it's you childish. know, that's something that I'm willing, about- I'm willing to talk. If I if I feel like I could talk to my spouse or whoever I'm actually with him at that time and he understands, you know, I'll pray to God. Maybe God let me give him a pass or something and we can figure something out. But right now, off some just because, no, nah, I'm good. It's I got, all about I got what you're going on in your life. I respect it. Yeah. I respect it. Yeah. It was good. Okay, y'all. This was a really good podcast. So for my last segment, I have a little gift for you. Oh, we got gifts. Yeah. Never got a gift in my life. Dun, 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 dun. So, yeah, this oh, is from yeah. the Renze Q. It's a nice little clothing. Yeah, it's a yeah. clothing, like I said. So, I just put a couple little things in there for you. You seem like a calm guy, so I just put white. Clean guy. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I wanted to give you cream, thank but I ain't had no large. Definitely clean. Yes. And a little something else in there. Check this out. Some this socks. So nice. Ooh. Yes, to Matt. So, you know, maybe one day you're doing a show, so you just crack. I got you. You know I'm a show mm-hmm. love. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Definitely. So, yes, do you have any last shout outs that you would like to give? Shout outs. First off, I want to shout out God. You know what I'm saying? Amen. I love that. Keeping us on our journey and making this happen. I'm everything with you and nothing without you. And for two, I want to shout out, you know, my support system, my mom, my dad. And everybody that keeps me pushing. And I'm going to give you a shout out yes. for, you know, extending your platform to me that you didn't have to do. Thank you. Because you're going to go off. You're going to become big and you're going to excel in everything that you do. 
Ooh, and shout yeah. out to my brother Tope Easy for even lining this up. So thank y'all for real. Thank you. And Julia, she is she in the background. Julia. <laughs> Julia for her input. Period, period, y'all. And my man, what's your name, bro? Manny. Manny Prince. Manny. You feel me? <laughs> Manny right there. <laughs> Can't forget my Aunt Talani, girl. Yeah. Hey girl. She been in the podcast. Yo, the crazy okay, part. Okay, girl. Okay, chill out. <laughs> chill out. It's a nigga that look like Manny in every city. Really? Yeah. Wow. He got like the he got like the average. Yeah, I can see what you're saying, yeah. He got like the default face. I can see what you're saying. I, 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 I kind of like that. Because I feel like I don't come off like... You, know you look like Quentin... You look like Quentin Miller. A little bit. Quentin Miller. Who's that? Oh. He's like, I, I don't think so. A little bit. All right, y'all. Okay, what you want? All right, y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and tune into the next episode. Get in. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 but I like pleasure so much. It's okay, okay, so I'm now for the next segment, um, I like to be pleasure, but we can get a little bit juicy, okay? So it's called Diving Deeper.